Hello, this is Wild One. I'm uh, still in the middle of my Legendary Encounters Alien playthrough, but I got something in the mail that I thought I'd do an unboxing video for. Someone had told me that there was another expansion out for Eclipse, and I had Ship Pack 1 and Rise of the Ancients, and I didn't realize it was out. Um, but it has been out for a little while, I guess, and it's called Shadow of the Rift. So we're going to do a little unboxing here. I'm going to set it down here, and then we're going to kind of dig in. Yeah, it looks a little ripped right here in the shrink wrap, so we can already go ahead and kind of maybe tear it off right here. There we go. There will be some glare. I apologize for the glare, but there will be a bit of it. Although with the uh, shrink wrap up, there's not too much glare. All right, let's see what we got in here. Oh, these are always so airtight; it forms a vacuum, and then when you're trying to pull, it's you're pulling against the. You're basically fighting physics. So there's the uh, Shadow of the Rift expansion rules. Oh, there's a whole new set of rare technologies, new developments, new discovery tiles. It looks really, really interesting. I had heard about, I believe, the plasma turret, and there's one of these other ones I heard about. I'm trying to remember what it was now. That was just, you know, just insanely powerful. Maybe a little OP. I guess, I guess if it takes a lot of work to get it, then and it's worth it, right? Advanced Genetics, Soliton Cannon, Rift Cannon, Transition Drive, Absorption Shield, some crazy, crazy stuff here. Let's see what else we've got in this rule book here. There's three new alien races in here, I know that. Um, sections on rare technologies, time distortion. Deep Warp Portals, which it sort of talks about here, you can see. Deep Warp Portals. Um, very interesting stuff. Advanced Gray Planets. And then here's one of these other things I saw, which was the Warp Nexus. So you have, like, a hex that's divided into three chunks. And so people can come in here, come in here, but unless they have the technology to pass through that, they can't pass through. Really, really interesting. Of course, I still haven't had a chance to play Rise of the Ancients, the group. So, anyway, that's the instruction book. And then here, I believe, are our new alien races. Um, we've got two sheets here. One's got one new alien race, the Octantis Autonomy. It's a bit of alliteration there. The Pixis Unity. Uh, they're interesting. They have a death moon. That's really scary looking. Um, rather than a starbase. Um, the Octantis Autonomy only has a starbase. And then we have the Octantis Vanguard. Same race, just a different group. And then the Shapers of Dorado. And they also have something interesting. They have what's called a, uh, well, it is a starbase. It's just a differently configured starbase, and it comes with a soliton cannon, which of course means there are blue dice. And there are blue dice in the box. So we have lots more punch sheets, more stuff to punch out. Oh, there's so much stuff. Oh, and there's two, uh, it looks like some new quick reference sheet, uh, quick reference cards. So there's a distortion tile overview, there's an evolution tile overview, rare tech overview, uh, rare tech, actually a couple rare tech overviews there, discovery overview, anomaly die, and another copy of the anomaly die, special reputation tiles. So these are in addition to, you know, the, the one, two, three, fours, the ones that just grant you victory points. And then I guess some new scoring. Quite a few new hexes. Of course, some of these will include the home hexes of the new races. Um, 
the new civilizations. Some new stuff. It's interesting. Yeah, there's some interesting stuff in here. And this is the cool thing. There's two new felt bags. Now, I don't use the felt bags that came with Eclipse. The Eclipse came with a nice black bag and a nice white bag. But I don't really ever... I guess the black bag I've used for Discovery tiles, but... But like the... Or I'm sorry, the, the Victory Point tiles. Um, the Discovery tiles, though, I always just kept in a pile and would grab those. I wouldn't pull them out of a bag or anything. And then here's a nice little green felt bag. They went with green and purple. It's kind of interesting. Or pink. I should say that looks a little pink. Um, my sister's really into purple. She would tell me that's not purple. And then we have a new, new cubes here. Actually, a few cubes and then a, and then a hexagon thing here. It's interesting. And new dice. Brand new dice. So we have... So these are the blue dice that were tied to the Soliton cannons. And then the purple dice, um, I believe, are related to the Rift cannons. So, yeah, those are the Rift dice. Um, probably cause ungodly destruction. And then there's this gray die, and I believe that was the special die that was mentioned earlier in the rules when I was looking at that. It's pretty cool. So that's it. That's everything that's in the box. This is kind of an interesting expansion. I'm looking forward to setting this up and then maybe, I mean, whenever I get to actually doing a uh, sort of a quasi playthrough of Eclipse, since Eclipse is not solitaire, um, I would like to do Eclipse and then maybe start adding the expansions one at a time and do playthroughs of those. Just it's more like tutorials. Um, so sort of one once I learn the rules of this one. This was the first time I've actually looked at the rule book. So this is going in blind. I did not know some of this stuff was in here, for sure. I didn't know about the purple dice and the gray dice. I knew about the blue dice. I'd heard about those. And I'd heard about the two colored bags. But I didn't hear about these new cubes. So, anyway, that's um, Shadow of the Rift. It's pretty cool. I'm looking forward to uh, reviewing this one and uh, going through the, the rule book and learning the expansion rules and possibly doing a tutorial slash playthrough in the future. Anyway, this is uh, Wild One signing off.